Hi lovelies, so I went to Wellington for a business trip yesterday and I do this once a quarter so um, what I was thinking of doing is like bringing you guys down with me so you can kind of see places that you can eat vegan food and just get like a bit of an impression of the city during like my lunch break because obviously I still work full time so I can't show you where I work and that sort of stuff but I can show you where you can eat vegan food and also like how I kind of cope being vegan in like another city so hopefully these tips are useful for you when you go to other places so first off obviously I had breakfast here I woke up at 4 30 um because that's what you have to do <laughs> I was lucky enough to go to the Cori lounge which vegan option is um fruit so just a heads up if you were going to Coru there's not really a vegan option so you can basically only have the fruit so uh, you might want to eat beforehand I didn't show you much of the flight because the turbulence was literally like whamming us all over the place incredible um, I had the vegan midnight stack I think it was and it was so so good honestly um, if you can make the walk up here do because it is so delicious here and it was incredibly busy so you'll want to arrive as early as you can in the lunch hour but of course it's not open until like 2 in the morning or something like that so good I'm really genuinely glad I made the walk up here and it's sunny it's an interesting part of town because I've never been to Wellington um, in this area before as well so if you're up for a walk I do recommend it
lunchtime I went to press court and I went to Aroha and I got one of their power bowls and I mean I know it comes hot but it actually still tasted good cold and so I just kept it in its little cardboard box and they had bamboo um, forky spoony things and it was really yummy and you know what when I was at the airport one of the people that was like sitting in like the generic chairs around because I was just like having my healthy power bowl whilst the people were having like the terribly overpriced awful junk food that was around and he was like um I don't I hope you don't mind me asking where did you get that salad because it looks really good So Wellington Airport as well, it doesn't really have any options for vegan food, so I think that Wishbone have like a soup and um, you might be able to get like a couple of bars, but if you're after like dinner, which I was because I got home at, like quarter to nine last night, so it was a really long day. So airport food is about $16 minimum and it's, you know, you just pay an airport tax. So, unless there's something that you really want, which would be soup, if you're vegan, um, you might just want to take some food in with you and get to the airport a bit earlier, so then you're like, by the time you've actually got off the plane and everything and got home, then you're not like dying of starvation, because on the flight as well, the flight there, there were no snack options because the turbulence, but on the flight back, the snack options were um, some like chips, which I can't have because of MSG, and there was like a cheese platter thing, so it's like, well, can't be having either of those. So it's just something to bear in mind, you might want to bring your own snacks, like I had some bliss balls with me as well. It's just kind of like forward thinking, forward planning, because after a really long day I get a bit snacky, I don't know about you. But anyway, like Wellington was beautiful and I'm really excited to like have a look at more of the city when I have like a 45 minute lunch break, so I'll be able to take you around on that next time. Let me know if you found this video useful because I will bring you with me um, on like my quarterly trip so you can kind of like just get a bit more of an impression and it also gives me a chance to go try new places to eat because I kind of don't have holidays so this is like the way that I have holidays and I always bring my lunch to work so this is a good opportunity for me to try something different so I hope that you love this found this useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and if you are in the Wellington area or you know of somewhere to go in Wellington please let me know in the comments down below because uh, I kind of like to squirrel away that sort of information and I find it really really useful. I want to just like try and promote and find like ways for people to travel easier as a vegan because I don't want people to think it's like oh it's such a difficult lifestyle because it's actually not because I'm one of the laziest people you'll meet and if I can do it then basically anyone can and it doesn't really cost more to just make more ethical choices when it comes to food. But yeah thank you lovelies so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!